Just my standard, it's my norm. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm all glammed up today because I'm heading out to a concert tonight at the Opera House, which I've actually never been to the Opera House for like a concert or show before. So that's going to be a new bougie experience I get to have. We're seeing Ella May, which I feel like is going to be really good. She just has such a beautiful voice. I'm obviously taking you along with me. So we're in for a fun little night together. This is the fit that I'm wearing. Matcha next to that cafe, there's like a takeaway cafe next to it. It's like the same thing, but right here. It's actually so nice here. Got some pizza making going on tonight. Fresh basil. Aesthetic. <laughs> it's from the garden. Brew it myself. <laughs> I want to get a little herb garden. Let's see the pizza. <laughs> we also have some garlic bread in the oven. Herbs. Yeah, let's talk about this. <laughs> I really want to do a herb garden where I do like basil garlic. That's not herbs, but I really want to try that. Yeah. I want to do little baby cherry tomatoes too. Well, apparently all you need to do for garlic is like get one of the little And place it. Yeah. What could I do? I know you basil. can do potatoes. <laughs> That's a bit <laughs> Let's start with some basil. Um, pizza time, which is, it just smells. Grow in yourself. Yeah. Really? It smells really, really good. We should go outside and like film my little- Alright. <laughs> okay. This is Erica's herb garden. Okay. Sage. What oh do you God, use that for? It's really good for like rose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah. And then this is the pizza time I was telling you about. Ooh. Right? How good does it smell? Strawberries. And oh, like is it any? Yeah. <gasps> Stop. Look how pretty it is. These flowers, they're broccolini apparently. I'm imagining it's broccoli. All, yeah, it's a broccolini, look. Oh. Like, I think that's gonna pop yeah. off. <laughs> how cool is that? I love gardening. My chilies. <laughs> I'm really happy. No, 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 that's amazing. Look how many there are. There's so <laughs> much. Comment below some tips for me, please. Because <laughs> I'm gonna start one. Where all your toes are in it. <laughs> Good afternoon. I am off to gym. This is the fit today. I have my defined shorts on, Lululemon jacket. I've got my Gymshark sports bra on, the one I literally wear all the time. That's the fit for leg day. Just picked up some Guzman for dinner. It smells so good. My go-to order is a veggie burrito bowl, add chicken, no beans, and then sub the cheese for the mech chili mayo. And it just tastes so delicious. Whoa. Like, look at that. I just find the chicken burrito bowl on its own. There's like, I'm like, where's the veggies? So, would recommend, because it's so good. 
Today's class was so good, but it was actually so hard. I was like struggling. I was like, I fucking need rest. <laughs> Give me a break. And we just had to like keep going. And I was like, this is fucking hard today. And I was having a moment of just like reflection on the drive here of like, fuck, going to the gym actually used to not be my norm. And it just is now. Like, it's actually not something I think about. It's just a standard of, like, I move my body. I show up to the gym consistently. It's, like, it's just what I do. It's just my standard. It's my norm. For a lot of you, like, what you see is me going to the gym consistently, moving my body consistently, doing things consistently. But what you don't see is actually where I came from and, and how I used to be. And my norm used to be staying up late, sleeping in, the binging the Netflix, the binging the social media, not even leaving the house every day. In all honesty, I was a lazy fuck. Like, I did nothing. Like, it's so funny how that used to be my norm, and now it's like, actually, it, it's so far from my normal now, you know? And it's like, I actually created that. You're someone who isn't exactly where they want to be, and you watch people online, and you're like, oh, she's lucky, or like, she must always have been like that. It's like, that's that's cute that you think that because she actually did a lot of work to get there and it's like i actually wouldn't be where i am today one if i didn't choose that for myself but also like hiring a mentor investing in myself like these are all things that i did and committed to in order to be the person and the woman that i am today with the standards that i have for myself it's like i actually went from having honestly zero standards like zero standards for myself and that just reflects like the way that i actually felt about myself and my lack of self-love, self-confidence, self-worth, all the things, to now actually having really fucking high standards for myself. Think about your current reality right now and what's your normal, what's your standard. Do you like that? Actually think about it and be like honest with yourself, like sickly honest of like, what, what am I normalizing in my life that I actually just don't want anymore? Like it actually doesn't support where I wanna be, who I wanna be. And just like see what fucking happens. Sunrise is for me like one of those things I will never get over. Like I don't care how many I've seen. I'm like, wow. <laughs> like every time I'm just like in awe. Like I've never seen it before and I think that's like really special. I came home to this big order from White Fox. It's literally huge. Let's do a little unboxing. I kind of forget what I ordered, but I'm excited. So cute. I'm gonna sit down, set up my camera, and show you guys everything. Okay, let me show you what I picked up. If you do see anything you liked, I will have everything linked down below. And as always, I have a discount code, which is just Chelsea, and that gets you 15% off. Starting this haul off, I picked up this long sleeve charcoal play suit. This is so cute. I also love the square neckline. I feel like that is just so flattering. I picked this one up in a size extra small. It also comes in white and black if you want some other colors. I was like really tossing up between all three. I was like, should I add Ulta Cart? Probably not, but I ended up going with the charcoal and I love it. I feel like charcoal is one of my favorite colors at the moment. Like I'm just loving a charcoal moment. I also just picked up this white strapless bandeau top. This paired with anything is just like really cute, but it also came with this bolero and 
Honestly, if you need a white bolero, I honestly would recommend getting this because this is such a nice quality bolero. It's like the best one I've honestly ever seen. I honestly picked this up for the bandeau and now I'm like just as excited for the bolero. So I picked up two mini skirts. So the first one is just like a beige color. How cute is this? I'm actually obsessed. I picked this up in a size extra small and it just looked so cute online and I was like... I need to get this. I'm really excited to style this. I feel like I've got so many tops in my wardrobe that will look really cute with this paired, like I said, with my black boots. And the model actually wore this with like a white button up collared shirt, which I thought looked really, really good too. So I might need to get one of those for myself. And then I picked up the same skirt in gray. This is definitely more of like a bluey gray, but I love it so much. I forget what the model was wearing with this skirt, but I remember thinking like, I'm gonna recreate that because it just like looked really good. I need to find out and take a screenshot so I remember to style it like that because I fell in love. I love this next style of top so much. So it's just this white top. It has tie detailings all down the side. I actually already have this top in black. Oh, I was wearing it on Monday night. Yeah, that top is from White Fox and I had to pick it up in white when I saw that they had it. I was like, yeah. I gotta do it. I gotta do it because I just love that top so much. And I just think the tie detailing on the side is so like fun, sexy, classy. I love it. My current obsession at the moment, like I'm just obsessed with seeing them, obsessed with people styling them, and I feel like I'm not the only one. Trench coats. I actually think I found the perfect trench. The colour in itself, I'm like, it's perfect. It's perfect. You know when some beiges are just a little bit off? Not this one. This one's perfect. <laughs> and it's just going to be a staple I know I'm going to have for years to come. Something a little bit different, but I'm actually really excited for, is this coloured scarf. I remember these were trending, I think it was last winter, and I never ended up getting a hold of one. And then when I saw White Fox had one, I was like, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I think it's just like really perfect. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my god. So excited to have like my first official cool girl scarf. I picked up this black sheer top, which I've seen a few people wear this and I was honestly like, I need that. It is super sheer, so you need to wear something underneath it. I'm thinking of picking up just like a black basic, like bandeau straight across to wear underneath that. I think that'll be perfect. I just think this top is so hot and if you do want a little bit of a sheer moment, would recommend. Okay, this dress. This dress, I feel, is just the definition of, like, hot. <laughs> I'm most likely going to wear this to, like, a fancy date night. With some little heels, I feel like that'll just be the perfect date night fit. So it's a long sleeve maxi dress, and it has a cutout at the stomach, which I thought was really cool and different. Like, I saw it, and I was like, ooh, that's different, and I like it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to wearing this one out. The next dress I picked up is this blue long sleeve dress. Out of all colors, I love blue, but I just like never wear color. I did look at this dress and I was like, that is really nice. So you might see me in some color because she is really gorgeous. I'm most likely gonna wear this to a girl's lunch somewhere like fancy in the city. I think that will just be like, really cute. Next up, I picked up some White Fox Active. I picked up these flared yoga pants and oh, I'm so excited to have these. These ones look so nice. They look like they hug you in nice, perfect amount of flare. I used to have some old ones and they were like too flared. I was like, I actually feel like I'm in the disco era. I also love the disco era. I'm actually not here for it. Also just picked up a black crop. So this is just a black halter neck style. It's got like a little knot in the middle. This is going to look really cute with the pants or honestly just with anything. It's a black crop. I wear them all the time. I wear a size small in the White Fox Active crops. Oh, and I also picked up this top that I'm wearing now, which is just like a long sleeve sweater in this like gorgeous kind of like, what would you call this? Like a light brown color. I just feel like this with some jeans is just a really simple but cute fit. That is everything I have to show you guys. If you want to pick up anything from White Fox, I'll leave their website and everything I picked up down below. And don't forget to use my discount code CHELSEA. But let's get back to the vlog. My new chair came for my office. It's literally so fucking big and awkward to carry. We literally had to take it out of the box to just like get it through the front door. The delivery guy comes and we walk outside because I was expecting it today. He literally just like left it at the top of my driveway. Like he didn't even come bring it to the door. He literally just like left it up basically on the road. Cool. Hold it. Stop it. 
She's pretty cute. I actually love it. I'm going to get a side table and a new rug. Like I just want one that's just like kind of plain white and a little bit bigger. And that'll just be like my little corner. I wanted to set up like a little corner in my room just like for me to do reading or like even when I post Instagram stories, like just like somewhere to sit comfortably and like post. I know that sounds like really stupid, but like I just want my own chair. I want a fucking chair. And also I have like a whole room for my office and I just like wasn't even utilizing the space. Like all I have in here before this was like my desk. So I was like, I need to just like get a chair and table in here, a nice rug and make it actually like a nice environment to work in. Cause it was a little bit boring before. Like it was just like, yeah, boring. This is fun. It does a little spin too.